Hi, this is Tweek. Gracie and Gil, two little kitty cats in our lives, needed a new toy. My sister said, can you make them one? I said, sure, I'll show you how. Join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are a dowel or a children's fishing rod, some electrical tape, it comes in many colors. You will need a round cork ball, a swivel hook, feathers. I used ostrich, turkey, and partridge feathers on my toy, assorted wooden beads, and some bells. So let's get started. For me, this challenge began with the kitty cats in our lives who they get bored with their toys. And my sister said, could you make a toy for my cat? And to start with that, I did some research. You need a wooden dowel. And I chose to order some fishing poles, little kids' fishing poles. Wooden dowel, nice handle, very well constructed. And it comes pre-drilled for the line, which I really liked that idea. It comes with its own little line. It's too short for a kitty, but I just simply snipped that off. Save the magnet for later play. And now I've got my dowel all set to make my cat toy. The next thing you will need for your cat toy is, very important, a swivel hook. Now this is something you'd use for sun catchers. You can go online, that's where I found them. And I'm going to take, this has a swivel with two hooks on each end. I'm gonna take one of the hooks off. So I only need one of them. Okay. We have the swivel with a hoop on one end and the hook on the other. We will make use of that. So we have our dowel and our swivel hook, electrical tape. This is a big deal because this is how you get your feathers to stay on the toy. And it comes in a bunch of colors. Today I'm gonna have some fun with blue and matches the handle and the dowel. What I'm using for the cord, I'm using elastic cord. Now I did try twine. I'm trying to go with materials that are not harmful in case the cat ingests any of it. And this cord is a polyester cord. Um, what I liked about it is the elasticity of it, the ease to use it, and also if they do eat some of it, it's not going to be as harmful, but I'm pretty sure they won't get to it unless you're not monitoring your kitty's use, which we should always keep track of what they're doing. We've got a cork here. This cork is more just for, for the fun. For when this toy bounces, the cork is going to help make that a little more realistic. A bell. You can choose your size bell. I've got three sizes here and I'm gonna go with the smaller one. And then a couple of wooden beads and I'd rather have a bead that's not painted. Try to get something more natural. So I've got one of each. And let's get started on this build. The feathers, I got ostrich feathers, turkey feathers, and partridge feathers. Now go online. You could find feathers in the wild, but. I don't live near an ostrich farm. So these are absolutely beautiful. Look at these. So you get a bag of feathers. Most toys that you get at a pet store would have a feather or two, maybe three. This way you can decide how many feathers you'd like to put on your toy. Turkey feathers. These are beautiful. They're actually called happy feathers, which I found that very appealing. So I'm trying to find feathers that not only have a contrast in color, but have different lengths to them. So if you see the turkey feather here is a little more structured. The ostrich feather is kind of just wispy. And you put the two together, mm, a little more attractive to some little feline. So we've got turkey, ostrich, and then all these little feathers now. These come in, in a bunch of colors, so I'm just gonna pull out a few just to show you, which really opens up for you to customize your toy for your kitty. All of these items I've described here, they will all be in our descriptions below if you wanna go ahead and order them for yourself. So let's start. The swivel hook, that is actually the first thing. So you see the hook, the swivel, right? We're gonna take the electrical tape and I'm gonna take at least over a foot. It depends on how many feathers you're going to add to your toy. We're gonna to roll this out. I'm taking quite a bit. Because if you have too much, you can cut it off and it does, it's sticky, so, so be careful. And just cut off a chunk. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the swivel hook 
and make sure the swivel part is in the smaller end of the hook. See where the clasp is up top? But I do want to add a little bell to this hook. I want just a little bit of sound. So I'm going to take this bell and I'm going to add it to the hook. And the bell is going to rest down there next to the swivel. Now we're going to go ahead and put the tape over that base of that hook. All set here. Now you get to decide how many feathers you want on here. I found that I put the little feathers towards the end. When I roll it up, they come around the edge. Let me show you. See how these little feathers are around the edge? See that? So I go tend to go with the big feathers first. And what you're going to do is take the feather where the quill is and you're going to lay it down onto the tape. Okay? Then pick another one. Let's see where my turkey feathers go. You could do all one kind of feather. When you throw this in the air and the feathers are facing different directions, it gets a little more lift. Then I'm going to add another one. Hmm, I want one of these bigger ones. Aren't these just so pretty? I'm going to take a little bit of that quill off the top. And I'm putting the, the ostrich feathers up, the turkey feathers down. I don't know that it matters that much in the end. But that's just what I'm doing. And see how quickly this is going? Look at how I've got this all laid out. See that? I'm just pressing the quill into the tape. Now if you want to add any others, like if I wanted to put little ones in between, you can do that. I'm going to kind of stick with the theme we've got going here, the, the dark and the white. This one's really pretty, so I'll put him towards the end. And maybe I think I'll stop there because I want a little bit of tape on the end. Now we're going to roll it up. Now this gets a little bit ticklish, so just give yourself some time. You want it as, see if I can get this angled, as tightly as you can. I'm holding the swivel and the bell, and you're just going to start rolling that hook in on itself. And you're going to come up to the quill of the feather, and you're just going to roll over it. And I'm pinching as I go to make the electrical tape. You can see how it's sticking. It's making an imprint. And I'm going to pull, try to keep it straight on its track. If a few of the feathers stick in there into the tape, that's fine. The kitty's going to mess with this anyway, aren't you, Gracie? And I'm going to keep rolling. You see how the quills are just very gently sitting on that tape. And I'm trying to pull tight. You want to kind of keep it taut as you go. And look what's happening here. Because you put the feathers either which way, you get more flare on them. I'm coming up to the last bit. Oh, this is where I'm really going to pull on the electrical tape. So that last little feather's in. See? I'm going to really pull hard. As hard as I can. And then I'm going to really squish it. And you can see how they're all encased in there. There's a little bit of a quill sticking up. That might add more interest. The kitties love real feathers because they have a real feather smell to them. Okay, there's a few things I do when we get to this point. It looks so pretty. And can you imagine this? This is a bird. In fact, you can test it by throwing it. It kind of catches the air as it comes down. That's cool. Um, I just try to just straighten out the feathers just a little bit. And um, if they're smashed into each other, I'm just going to separate the tiniest bit to give it more layers as we rolled it up. I want the feathers, especially the ostrich feathers. Oh, God, they're so soft. Um, so when I like that, see that little one hanging out the end there? So this part here is done. We let the bell sit next to that top. I'm really, and you know what? I do this too. I really pull on the feathers. I'm pulling hard. They're not coming out. So that electrical tape did its thing and that's nice and secure. Now the bell hangs to the bottom. We have our swivel here. Time to add your cord. I'm using the elastic cord and let's see. How much do I have? I want enough so that when the cat grabs it, it stretches a little bit. I'm really torquing. It's not going to break. But I don't want it so long that they've run into the other room and make a big old mess with it. And just snap it off. 
This gourd is nice too because it comes in a lot of colors. There's lots to play with when you make one of these toys. It looks like I've got about four feet of cord here. So I'm going to take the end of the cord and run it through the top end of the swivel where that little hoop is. And I'm going to make a very simple knot. But I'm going to knot it um, a few times. I'm going to go at least six or seven times. I'm just going to get it on there so I got enough of a knot that I feel think it's going to stay secure. Okay, so how to hide that knot? I'm going to add some beads. First of all, I'm going to add a bead that's got a big enough hole that's going to cover over that knot. And before I do that, I'm going to take a little tiny bit of hot glue and just put it on that knot to make it a little more secure. Just a tiniest dab. Go ahead and run it around that knot. And then when I drop the bead down, we'll have a little more security of the knot and the bead melding together a little bit. Let's see if I can do this. Run the bead down. And I'm gonna pull in this end here too. So the two pieces go in and I'm gonna let it fall over the knot. So now the knot is hidden. So I don't want the kitty to undo that knot, so I'm trying to protect it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue into that hole and that's gonna cement or glue both of those in there. Just a tiniest bit. I, like again, I, I don't want the kitties to get into this. And then I'm just going to snip it off. Make sure you snip the right one. I'm just going to snip that off. So it's secure and I'm going to bring this bead down to help hide that. Okay. These beads are going to float a little bit. I kind of didn't want that either, but next comes the cork. The cork is simply to help give the toy a little more bounce and we drilled a hole into them so I could get the cord through. So I'm going to, I'm gonna use this needle to pull this through the cork. Got the cord, got the needle. The cork is pretty darn tight. And there we go, you've got it. The cork meets the other beads. Now I am gonna add a little bit of glue because I want the cork to stay in place. I didn't want to add another not on the top of that cord. So I'm just gonna just rub a little bit of glue, tiny bit of glue, because it'll stick inside that cork. And let it sit. And I'm gonna add just a tiny bit right here. Just touch. The cork is so absorbent. I'm trying to get it to just a little tiny bit. Okay. it so far. Now, how much do you want on your toy? This is the time to decide because we've got our little children's fishing pole. I love this. It's got a nice drilled spot all ready to go. So the, the smaller spot is where you thread the cord through. The bigger spot is going to hold the knot. So here's where you decide. Make your final decision. In the meantime, come up to this end and start making knots. Try to keep the knots all on top of each other. Make sure, I'm trying to get that real close. Okay, so we've got that going. Now let's see if it's gonna pull through. Oh, you see how it hides in that little spot? One of the reasons why I really like this little kid's toy. Okay, so before I tuck it in there, I'm going to snip off the excess. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. So it's really going to stay in that spot. Just trying to ensure that this toy is going to last a while. Just put just the tiniest bit there to hold it and pulling it through. I don't want to leave it right there though. I'm always adding something, aren't I? I want to cover up that hole. I want to make that look nice. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue and put the tiniest bead that the kitty can't get out. 
I've got the tiniest little beads I found just in my bead collection. And look for one that fills that space. See how it kind of tucks in? Oh, that was a good grab there. <laughs> so I'm going to take a little bit of glue. Just a tiny little bit again. Good. Just a little, little teeny dab. Just enough to fill the hole and to hold this bead in place. So I'm going to take the bead and push it in. Look at, see how far it went in? So that is not going to come out and it looks great on the toy. That's something, just a little bit of bling for me. And look what we have. Ready to be tested. Another thing I like about the little children's toy, let me show you, to put this away. Because we want our cat toys to be put away and organized until we decide they can play with them. Is that how it goes? I wind this up on the dowel. And there's a little notch in this little teeny pole for the line. So I go ahead and put it in there and look at that. Perfect. Let me show you a few others that I made. You can get different colored dowels. They come in blue and red. And the more you add to it or the less you add to it determines what it's going to look like. And here's my favorite ones. I made two and added them to the swivel. So I have a double. And what I like about this is, as this falls, as it plays, the cat plays with it, it almost acts like a bird wings on either side. And they go kitty cat crazy. Let's see, where's another one? They don't all have to be big. Look, at this has three ostrich feathers and just a few of the little pheasant feathers. And look at that, perfect. Perfect, perfect. And one more. I had a really pretty, this is another nice one. It's a double with a little less flower. You could also, if you don't want the, if let's say one wears out, just unhook it and you have the backup right there. But isn't that beautiful? That's our kitty toys ready to play. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. And until then, I know some cats, a lot of them in my family, are going to start having some fun with these kitty cat toys. See you again!